Well, I'm Dick Baldwin, and I developed the mini boats. And what it is, mini boats are six foot long or two meter sailboats with a GPS unit on it that we put in the water and let her go with the winds and the currents to do a little bit of research to teach kids how the winds and currents go. I'm on the S.A. Agalis, which is a South African research ship, which is an icebreaker and a pretty modern ship with all the equipment and it's a fantastic experience. I'm with a bunch of postgraduate students, like 50 of them, and we're having a great time and we're going to launch a mini boat. We're going to launch the mini boat into the Agalis current and what I would like to have it do is go to Australia. I don't think it will, but it could. I used to do a lot of solo sailing as a recreational sailor. And uh, as I got too old to do this, I decided it was, I'd had enough, it was time to sell my boat, and I wondered what I was going to do for fun from there on in. And all of a sudden the idea came to me that, hey, I could develop little six-foot boats, two-meter boats, and put GPSs on them and watch them from the comfort and safety of my living room. So that's what I did. And then I started talking to people. And teachers said, Dick, we got to do this in the schools, you know. So we started doing that. One of the beauties of this program is that we get GPS fixes, which get sent up to the satellites so kids can monitor their boats. The mini boats right now are mostly, you know, measure or go with the winds and the currents and whatnot. But this is one of our first boats that we've added a temperature sensor to for measuring sea temperature and it's got a little SD card in it that we measure it and in the future we're going to try to add computer steering and more sensors. It's very critical that these boats get launched in the right spots. If they get launched in the right areas they'll catch the correct currents, cross oceans and go for months. No, no, we It's finally become launch day and I'm very excited. You can see we've got plenty of wind and enough waves. This is a new boat to us. This is only the second launch on this boat design and I think she's going to do fine. But uh, I didn't expect it to be quite so windy and rough. So I'm very excited and all the students and some of the professors have signed the sail. This is a specially designed sail by my friend Joe Robillard, uh, who's been a sail maker, and we've got a flexible bat. So when a big wave comes crashing down on top of the boat, the sail will just, the bat will bend and let the wave go by without breaking the mast. So it's a design that I think is working real well. We might see it in action this morning.
That was a fabulous mini boat launch. The conditions were exactly what I wanted. Rough enough to get a little excitement in there and it went off smoothly and was great. We had a couple last minute hitches though. We almost forgot to get the uh, cover off the solar panel and the handle off the bow, but we did it. Who said she I